Hi there, welcome to another video of Nerdy Tech Tips channel. We will be comparing Technetium and Pi-hole and why I chose Technetium over Pi-hole. As you can see, we have Technetium and in another window, Pi-hole official website open so we can compare it easily. So at very first step, you can see that Pi installation is supported by only on Linux based operating systems or you need to get a Raspberry Pi. Now on the other hand, you would be pretty surprised when you look at Technetium DNS server website. What? It mentions you can run it on Windows without having any kind of server installation? Even better, you can have it as a portable app. Or if you're an Apple fanboy and you use only Apple products, you got Mac, MacBook there, or you can have it on your iMac. Even better, if you have a MacBook, you have a DNS server as a portable app running on your MacBook. You just need to click on it. That's it. There you go. So let's have a look to see how easy it is to have a portable DNS server. So we're downloading it now. It's a zip file. Let's open it up where we have downloaded it. I'll bring it on the screen now. As you can see, there is one exe file that says Technetium. We should click on this Technetium app exe file, double click on it. And it's running. Wow. It is definitely makes sense when they say it on their website. It works right out of the box. This is what they're talking about. Copy the address and there you go. Set up your password and you have a portable DNS server running. It will block ads on your MacBook if you're on the go. And it will protect your privacy. How wonderful is that? I really love this feature. I mean, you don't want to hold a Raspberry Pi and run a DNS server, hotspot it, use it as a router. It's big hassle. You would rather have Technetium running as a portable app on your laptop if you are using a DNS server on the go. I really love this feature. Now when we come to installing DNS server on Linux based systems, there is no difference between Technetium and Pi-hole. However, even moving on further, Pi-hole and Technetium offers DSCP service on their DNS server. Now monitoring options are very simple. However, Technetium offers much simpler and lighter version. While well, most important part is that they both do pretty good job at blocking ads at DNS level in your network. But where does Pi-hole really falls behind? Well, if you're into IT and have IT lab set up, or running multiple servers on virtual machines on your personal computer well you might want to do more with your DNS server other than just blocking ads you want to be able to add local DNS addresses yeah yeah you can do that in Pi hole as well but let me show you what DNS server level features it offers so over here you can see I'm running my DNS server on Raspberry Pi it's not a portable app. That was just to show you guys you can do that as well. Now we have clicked on zones. This is a specific feature that is offered by Technetium and this option is not available yet in Pi-hole the day I made this video. You can create a DNS zone. I'm going to create a DNS zone called nerdytechtips.com. Now further on you can add DNS records on this particular zone you can click on add record point this domain to a specific ip and further on you can create mx records i will show you quickly an example how it's done
Now, as you can see, after creating an A record for that zone, I have created an MX record. Now you can keep going on, create SPF, DKIM, pointer, whatever records you want to add. It is fully flesh DNS server. What well, choice is yours to make? Let me know in the comment section below if you are using Pi-hole and what do you think about Technidium. If you find this video useful, hit like and subscribe button to show your support and it will encourage me to make more videos on useful tools. Bye for now.